day, televiewers! I am Leline R. Ramos from Tantinia National High School, your teacher presenter for today's episode of Tepid Hours Territorial. Let's start our lesson with this activity. Arrange the following jumble letters to guess the words. Here are the correct answers. 1. Verb Number 2. Subject Number 3. Clause Number 4. Dependent Number 5. Independent This time, using the answers from the previous activity, try to identify what is being described. A state of being capable to stand alone. Correct. Independent. A state of being not capable to stand alone. Correct. Dependent. An expression including a subject and a predicate. That's right. Clause. A word that denotes an action and serves as a predicate of a sentence. Correct. Verb. The one that is being talked about in a sentence. That's right. It's a subject. Nice. That's a good start. Today, we're going to talk about clauses. What is a clause? A clause is a group of words consisting of subject and a verb. There are two kinds of clauses, dependent and independent clause. Independent clause is a clause that can stand on its own as a sentence. Dependent clause is a clause that cannot stand on its own. For example, in the sentence, The boy developed a stomach ache after eating two but junk foods. The boy developed a stomach ache is the independent clause. It has subject, the boy. It has a verb, developed. This clause can stand on its own has a complete thought. The clause after eating too much junk food, it can't stand on its own for its thought is not complete. The example the boy developed a stomach ache after eating too much junk food can also be written this way. After eating too much junk food, the boy developed a stomach ache. Notice that the two clauses can be written interchangeably, but if the dependent clause is placed at the beginning of the sentence, a comma shall be placed after the dependent clause. To be able to recognize the dependent and independent clause in the sentence, a subordinating conjunction would serve as a clue. A subordinating conjunction is a word which joins together a dependent clause and independent clause. Subordinating conjunction is also called a dependent marker. It will lead us to find out or recognize the dependent clause in a sentence. The common dependent markers are although, after, as, when, while, until, before, because, if, since. This can be remembered through a mnemonic. Al Wubi. In the sentence, I eat breakfast before going to school. The word before is the subordinating conjunction, which serves as a dependent marker. It leads to the dependent clause. Therefore, the entire dependent clause in this sentence is before going to school. And the remaining clause, I eat breakfast, is the independent clause. Dependent clause and independent clause can be written interchangeably, but do not forget to put comma right after the dependent clause if it started the sentence. For example, before going to school, comma, I eat breakfast. There you have it. Please stay tuned for more discussions on our lesson about clauses. We'll be right back after a few reminders from the solution.